Okay, so today is the last day of our library series, and today we are talking about sacred books. So go ahead, take a nice deep breath. Feel your body relaxing. Feel your mind relaxing. Just feel how your breath expands your whole body and then releases. Just notice how flexible your body is with breath and how you can feel that breath, how it goes all the way down inside your body, feeding all levels of your body. Just feel how your body is responding to breath. And as you go down inside your body, just noticing, just noticing how your body is feeling. Is there something about your body that's calling your attention? or not. Just allowing yourself to sink down in, knowing that this time was set aside for you to just be in this space. And your imagination will bring forth a virtual resource if it's something that you want on this journey. Something safe, loving, and powerful provides you protection, provides you wisdom. And maybe it's something that's familiar to you, a deity of your faith, a person that you know. It could be a piece of nature or a pet. Whatever just pops up for you. Just notice what it's like to have that resource there with you. Or if this is a journey that you'd like to go on on your own. Just notice how that feels. And now your imagination is going to call forth this library, this library that may be different than the libraries that you've called forth before. It could be a private library. It could be a public library. But whatever shows up for you is exactly right for you. And notice how it feels to be in that space. In the quiet. Notice what it feels like emotionally. Just whatever feelings are coming up for you are exactly right. And as you look around your library, however big or small, old or new, familiar or unfamiliar, Your attention is drawn to a section or a single book that is sacred. This section of books is different than the others. Perhaps it's displayed with reverence in a special way. Maybe this book or books has a special place. 
but just notice as your attention is drawn. And what calls your attention most? And allowing your awareness to go to that, getting closer to this specific book that's calling your attention. And as you're standing in front of it, just notice how it feels to be in the presence of this book. Does it feel like a familiar feeling or an unfamiliar feeling? And as you're in the presence of this sacred book, just allow the book to open to the perfect page. Just notice what the pages themselves are like. Are they thick or thin? Perhaps they're different along the edges than most books. Just whatever you're noticing about the book itself. And if you're holding the book, is it heavy? Is it light? What does the cover feel like? Does it have a particular scent? And as you're looking at the page, just notice what the writing is like. And as you place your hand on this page, your awareness is drawn into the book itself. Notice what it feels like to be inside this book. Notice what it feels like emotionally. And as you're inside this book, if there's any other resources that you would like to have with you, or if the book itself is a resource, just notice what that's like. And as you're inside this place, this book, this sacred book, and just speaking out loud, what it's like to be here is,
And what I want to know is And what it would be like to know that would be Because if I knew that, then and anything else that wants to be spoken in this space of sacredness. Just allow it to be spoken now. And how it feels to say all this is And now just allow your imagination to bring forth an image that represents this sacredness, this wisdom, whether it's your resource, whether it's the book itself. Whatever it is, whatever image just pops up just like that. Maybe it's just this space. And notice what it's like to look at that image. And then moving your awareness into that image. And speaking for that image. and speaking back to self. What I've heard you say, self, what I have received from you is, And what I want to tell you is Because what I know about you, self, is and what I can see in you that you can't even see in yourself is And what I want to give you is
because self, what I know, if you have this, is And what I want you to remember is and anything else that wants to be spoken from this image back to self, just allow it to be spoken now. And how it feels to say all this to you, self, is. And now moving your awareness back into your own self, looking through your own eyes, listening through your own ears, sensing your own body, words, and emotions. And looking back at this image and sensing all that this image has spoken as a stream of colored energy that's moving from the image to you. Notice what it looks like, its color, its quality. Notice how it's moving from the image to you and where it's entering your body first. And feel that energy as it enters your body, as it's fully absorbed by your body and moves throughout your entire body, expanding and expressing in whatever way feels good. Feeling it all the way up to the follicles of your hair, down to the toenails, out into every square inch of your body, maybe even extending beyond your body. And then speaking back to this image, what I have heard you say, what I have received from you is And how it feels to receive this from you is. Because what I now know that I didn't know before is. And what it's like to now know that is. And what I'm now coming to realize is And how I know that that will impact my daily life will be. (laughs) 
And whatever else wants to be spoken to this image, go ahead and speak it now. And how it feels to say all this to you is And what I would like in terms of my access to you is So just allowing that to happen, whether you want that to be a consistent relationship, you want this interaction to end, however you want, whatever feels best, however you want this relationship to continue or not. Just allow that to be established. And then noticing what it's like to be in this sacred space now. Does it feel the same? Does it feel different? Does it feel more familiar? Maybe it's always felt this familiar. And then moving your awareness out of this sacred space. So where you're back looking at the book. Just feeling yourself in your own body, holding the book or looking at the book. And notice what that feels like now. What it feels like in your body what it feels like emotionally. Now allowing yourself to either close the book or leave the book the way you found it or different, whatever's showing up for you is exactly right. And as you look around your library, having gained all this wisdom, what it feels like to be in this space now. with all the wisdom and knowledge and awarenesses that you now have. And then bringing your awareness back to your body feeling what it feels like physically, emotionally, what it's like to look through these new eyes. What it's like to listen through these new ears. What it's like to touch with these new, this new sensation of touch. What it's like to move now. What it's like to breathe now.
And then your body will let you know that all this work that you've done is anchored all the way down into cellular memory, even down into your DNA and written in your subconscious mind flash millions of times every split second without you even thinking about it. And also saved in your conscious awareness, able to be retrieved at will. Let's you know that this is done by bringing full feeling back into your arms, your legs, your fingers and toes, normal awareness back into your mind, your body, your brain. And then as it's complete, you'll open your eyes.